Average collection period is the amount of time it takes for a business to receive payments owned by its clients in terms of accounts receivable. So basically it means that suppose you are a businessman, you have sold some products but you haven't received your money yet. So how many times on average it takes you to collect your money from your debtors is actually refer referring to average collection period. Let's see the formula of average collection period which is 365 divided by receivables turnover. Now you need to know the receivables turnover formula which is sales revenue divided by average accounts receivable. To calculate average accounts receivable, you have to add the beginning balance of the accounts receivable with the ending balance of the accounts receivable and then you have to divide them by two. Then you'll find your average accounts receivable. Let's see a map. Let's say a company has an average accounts receivable balance for the year of 10,000. The total net sales the company recorded during this period was 1 lakh. Let's solve the math. You can see the formula at the right side. According to the formula, we have to find out the receivable turnover. The receivable turnover is equal to sales revenue divided by average accounts receivable. So you can see in the math that sales revenue is 1 lakh and average accounts receivable is 10,000. It's already given. The average amount is given. That's why you, ha you don't have to calculate uh, this average amount. Otherwise, you had to calculate it. So receivable turnover is equal to 1 lakh divided by 10,000 we get 10 so now according to the average collection period formula 365 divided by 10 we get the amount of receivable turnover right so if you do that you get the answer 36.5 days most company usually collect within 30 days Many companies also collect uh, their receivables within 60 days or 90 days, it depends. But average collection period outweighs 60 days is not good for a company. So if the company's average collection period outweighs 60 days, then the company must do something to collect is accounts receivable as soon as possible N any company should not be this man's lenient that their debtors do not care about paying back uh, to your company so that's it Average payment period is the average time it takes a business to make payment to its creditors is known as average payment period or days payable outstanding or in short DPO. So basically, suppose you run a company and you have bought product but you haven't paid yet. So on average, how many times it takes you to pay all the uh, money all the money to your creditors so the, if you take a lot of time it doesn't bring good impact on your company your supplier will be disappointed the seller will be disappointed people will not like to uh, make business with you so it shows your company's credit ordinance let's see the formula average payment period is equal to average accounts payable divided by total credit purchases divided by number of days average accounts payable is equal to uh, 
add you have to add the beginning balance of account payable with the ending balance of account payable and then divide it by two total credit purchases is equal to is refers to the total amount of credit purchases made by the company during the period under consideration days equal to number of days in the period in the case of a year generally 360 days are considered let's see math and solve it during the accounting year 2018 company a limited made the total credit purchases worth one lakh 10 lakh sorry for the accounting year 2018 the beginning balance of the accounts payable of the company was 350000 and the ending balance of the uh, pay accounts payable of the company was 390000 using this information calculate the average payment period of the company consider 360 days in a year for the calculation let's solve the math you can see the formula at the right corner so beginning balance of the accounts payable of the company is 350000 and the ending balance is 390000 so with these amounts we have to find out the average accounts payable right again the total credit purchases during this year is 10 lakh or 1 million you can see in the math number of days are given 360 days so we have to find out average accounts payable first. How are you going to do that? Beginning balance plus ending balance. That means 350,000 plus 390,000 divided by 2. According to the formula, we get 370,000. Now, we have to find out the average payment period, which is 370,000 divided by 10 lakh divided by 360 the answer is 133.20 days so the average payment period the company has been operating on is 133.20 days the management team will use this information to determine if paying off credit balances faster and receiving discounts might produce better uh, results for the company because if you you're paying out your uh, payable faster the people the other side the companies and the suppliers will be making business with you will be even happier and they will make more business with you so it will increase uh, your chance of doing good business in the market